Time it is Black History Month, Bobby Schmurter Day. Schmurter is home. I'm hitting a round of applause because boy, am I excited! Love it. I am excited. Fuck hip hop and fuck rap. I'm just finally. I'm happy to see. It's just good to see. Yeah, finally. 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 It's been a long, long six what six and a half years. Yeah. A long time. You went and sat up. 2014. Hopped took his time. DJ. Came came home. Really happy for him. I'm so happy for his family, yeah. his, his friends, the people that have wanted to touch him, speak to him, like have him tangible to them. Mm -hmm. Came home, got somebody making 50 pounds of oxtail. You know mm -hmm. the vibe. That's a king. Mm -hmm. How else you want to come home? You know somebody say, yo, what you want to eat? What's your, what? Pick anything. Right. Pick anything. And you know what a black king said in February. Oxtail. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look, Schmur the kid on the PJ, chicks on board just in case it's got to get crazy. <laughs> Listen, uh, man, I do yeah, six years. Yo. First thing I'm doing is busting a nut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the PJ. How do Word. You, okay, who's there? <laughs> how you feeling right now, Bobby? Do you want it to get crazy right now? Because it can. Look at JR's comment, though. More threes than Steph and Clay <laughs> in a shooting contest. <laughs> That's why, you gotta, no, 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 no. that's why you gotta love the internet <laughs> Just yeah, little comments like that Just make you laugh mm -mm. You forgot a name? Not gonna let you do it what? Yeah that's why you gotta love the internet That's why you gotta love real life too I want y'all to keep the same energy We're gonna discuss threes soon mm. I, I fucked a three to, I want you to keep the same exact energy When I bring up a three topic Later on Three threes is nine Okay Yeah Free to nine. And you're going to laugh See how they me. doing it? You're going to say, I got a vendetta. Because you do. <laughs> See, look. Against threes? You don't even know what I'm talking about. Hey, and you're you, going to say, I you, got a vendetta. Absolutely. I don't have You a have vendetta. vendettas, man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You were a character. Like, you could play <laughs> yeah. yourself. You embodied it. Yeah, like... <laughs> your finishing move was, what, what, uh, His finishing move was ash the cigarette on a nigga. <laughs> Fatality. Fate, no. Kill him. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes comes yeah. on in the background. <laughs> when he when he get all his points up, the Dunkin' uh. Donuts coffee appears. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they, look what they have my nigga Joe doing, man. Def Jam Vendetta. Sorry, audience. I won't step on them anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will not. Their jokes will continue until they feel that they've ended. All right, but don't forget that. Don't forget that conversation, though. Whatever you talk about. Which one? The threes? threes? Yeah, don't forget I that. can't forget okay, it. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, and nah, because you know your memory, you'd be like, nah, damn, what was that? I, I not remember, though. Okay, all right. I remember. All right. How you feel about dudes fucking threes, though, rappers? It happens. I know. More often than, more often than people think. We'll talk later. Yeah. All right. Back Rap, to, rappers taste me trash. Back, back to Schmurda. Schmurda got oxtail, 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. Schmurda has Louis uh, Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton luggage that says Schmurda kit as like a exiting care package. Yeah, Schmurda got a PJ right there with Quavius, young Quavius. Yeah. Nice necklace. Quavo's such a cool guy, man. So K glad. Karen. I, I'm so glad I hugged him and, and gave him a warm embrace and deaded any any tension between us. Honestly. Oh yeah, I see the JBN was there. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little little. <laughs> A little concerned why Parks, Karen ain't hit us like maybe Parks, we could get the interview. Can a hot moment happen mm -hmm. in hip hop without the JBN right there? I mean, I don't know. Fam, that's Karen Sybil. That's not the JBN. Karen, <laughs> Karen, Karen Sybil's JBN. Yeah, but she's Karen Sybil. And she's JBN. <laughs> and she takes pride in it, unlike some. I have to look at my contract Listen, to see I if I have know. anything to do with I this don't network. Know. I didn't say you was some. I didn't say I didn't say you were some. Say you was, come on, Roars. When I think that you some. Listen, man. <laughs> what I think that you saw. Come on, man. You're not some. Uh, what a way to come home. I'm just really happy. I'm just really happy for him. I don't even have too much to say. Actually, I have a lot to say. But it's like all in relation to like, like I watched the Takashi doc over the weekend. And we're all in it seven times. Yeah, I texted Ian. See, I watched said, the wrong one after you told me that. You watched the Hulu one. Yeah. 
which is still pretty decent. But it was, Show, it was Showtime, good. Showtime has a three part Takashi doc out, right? And we'll get to that later. But when 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 I watch Shmurda come home, to all of this love, all of this relevance, all of this, all of these amazing things that he came home to, right? What it says to me, and what I would hope it says to the other young people out there, is that, hey, you could do it the other way, and get all of that. Mm. You could stand tall. And come home <laughs> in six years, even when you face an 80 and 90. If you have a good understanding of the legal system and how things work and trumped up charges and plea deals and code deeds. And if you just know a little bit about some of that, you're armed a little better to play the game and you may be better informed to make a decision like Schmerder made, which was an honorable one. One full of integrity and one that will. It's sad that the young people don't know that there are benefits to be reaped with integrity. I know. I, they That's know. my point. Obviously, they do. That's know. my point. I'm with you. They but, know. But again, one one was authentic and one wasn't. That's kind of my problem with just everything having to be. Perception Listen, we don't even we don't even got to put these. We don't two, have to associate. We don't even have to put them in the same breath. Yeah, Listen, welcome home to one Bobby. Was a marketing plan. One, one wasn't. I'm gonna say exactly right. what I said when Rowdy came home. Get straight to the studio. Live in there. Stay in there. Isolate yourself. Keep your circle small. I'm saying have fun, but definitely stay away from the bullshit because they waiting for you to slip up. They waiting to catch you doing some dumb shit. Don't let it happen. Too talented. And people need you. Your family needs you. Like, just stay focused. Stay, stay, stay in the music. Stay in the music. And don't feel like you have to make up for the last six years. No, be on this time. No, yeah. Or, yeah, you don't gotta rush nothing. Stay away from the bullshit. Get acclimated. Kick it with the family. But welcome home. Enjoy, enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. And you know, stay away. Stay away from the fuck shit. I think the young people needed this. I hate to sound like <clears throat> Uncle Joe right now. But I really do think that we needed an exam. We needed the people that were born in 2000 and 97, like the 21, 24 year olds, the people that have just just haven't seen too many of these kind of stories in hip hop. Like I'm different. Like I was I was there for 50 Cent story. Mm -hmm. I was there for like I just named some stories I was there for. If you know Keith Murray's story for real, it's like, oh, shit, he made it. Like, you know what I mean? If you know DMX story for real, whole stuff, like it's just, I was there for some stuff, ghetto boys. Like, mm -hmm. it's just too many stories to keep up with. And I don't feel like today the young kids have enough of those to see. Like, I think about that with, with my son. Like, who is that outside of maybe anything TDE related? Who is that? What's that hip hop story that he'll have that he can tell that you witnessed go from start to finish climax? You don't have BMF. Mm -hmm. I have BMF what do you have like I don't know so I'm glad that they have this somebody that they might have been there for who made a decision stood tall took on more time for his man to come home his man comes home early and they come home and it's gang the end wow yeah wow yeah it's great it's beautiful to see Definitely wait for the music, though. Of course. Well, that was my next question to you guys. How do, how do you think, what what happens with the music? He got to have one. Oh, he for He got to sure. have two, three, four, and for five, sure. actually. I'm sure he's got a if bunch. Everybody that goes to jail or rehab as a rapper writes raps. That's how we got six foot seven from Wayne. It's a bunch of jail raps put together, and y'all ate it up, and it was number one in the charts. Do they have recording one. studios in, in prison yet? Uh, they must, must degree, because yeah. there's we got stuff that. comes out of prison. I, I, I feel like they should. I don't need one, though. You don't need... I don't... If I'm a rapper and I know that I'm popping when I come home, I know it's my job to have something in the tuck. When I'm on, my, on that phone, it's beat packs. I'm listening to beat packs. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying even, even if you're not a rapper, I right think in. that uh, recording studios and prisons, you know, people learn how to engineer. Yeah. Learn how to record. Uh, even if you're not an artist, you might try it. Trial recording music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just another outlet for people to create. Yeah. Why not music? In a world that should exist long after I'm gone, I would love to see a bunch of money dumped into the prison systems uh, so they can modernize it more for actual rehabilitation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And skills. Again, I won't be here for that. 
but it's a world I would like to see exist one day. Uh, so you think the music could be? I think he'll right be back, right back where you left I think off. he. I think he's had a lot of time to write, um, perfect his craft. You know, so I, th- I think the music he'll he'll pick up right where he left off for sure. Something about and pause if if we're gonna be immature. Something about this kid's smile, man. It's like Magic Johnson ish for me. He was always a super just likable person, even if you don't know him. Just his aura. Look at that! Come on, man. That that feels good for me. That feels but a lot good. of these young guys have that personality. They just in situations that force them to have to wear different faces. But a lot of these, a lot of these young guys, they're 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 lovable. They're they you know their families. You hear their families talk about them. You know, it's, they, their personalities are big. They, you can tell that they were raised by good people. They come from good homes. Sometimes you just get caught up in 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 bullshit. You know what I mean? But you can tell he comes from a a, a good foundation, though. You can tell. Yeah. Well, I I look forward to the music, but in the meantime. Kick it with the family. Word. But which is why, though, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, and I know we don't even like to d- discuss Takashi, really. But in watching the doc, and y'all haven't seen it, right? Hell I saw no. the Rogue I one. saw the uh, first episode. I mean, I enjoyed it because I got to hear from some of the, some of the quote-unquote gang members that were home and involved, right? Mm-hmm. So their perspective... And it was really, really telling. Um, also, his uh, the early part of his ascension, I wasn't there for. But watching it, none, and I'm not saying that any of it is justified because he made decisions, and I feel that he manipulated a lot and kind of got away with it. And all of the black people went to jail, and the only non-black didn't go to jail. That is disturbing. For me. But boy do I understand it. uh, Looking at the story. Like this kid. Really didn't know shit about shit. Like nothing. Like he just wasn't. Bright. And he was poor. And two dads left. One dad left with a heroin habit. The mom didn't know what to do with a kid that didn't know shit poor as could be and then the other male influence in my life went to the store and got murdered at the store and he was born in 96 or something like that so he was born into a world where the internet existed like Rory and I were discussing earlier I don't say that to make him exempt anything I say it to say this kid's entire life has been based around getting attention Mm -hmm. like that's all he knew from age Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and in this internet era, if you just you could understand it, is all I'm saying. Like, wow, a few decisions. You could see how it happens. Like the clothes with the wild shit on it, the now I'm dying my hair, now I'm tattooing sixty nine on me sixty nine times, now I'm like that attention shit. I don't agree with none of this, but as as hip hop, if we're gonna be hip hop, then we responsible for this. Like we manifested, we manifested this. Mm. This is a product of whatever it is that we put out. Even though he didn't even know shit about hip hop, not a one fucking thing. But again, there's no entry. There's no entry here. There's no. There's no SAT test that you got to take before before you allowed in. And then he got with some street niggas who saw an opportunity to take care of people and their family and, and get money. Like, I'm so grateful, Maul, because watching this, not that I identify with 6 9 because I would never make some of those decisions, of course. But I could see how four and five, six and seven different decisions from me or my family or four or five different pivots in life could get somebody in the position where some of this shit might be acceptable to them. Like, that, it's a risk that they might take. Like, if I never had nothing or nobody and never felt love or shit, like, and again, I'm going to shut up because this is too long. I'm just telling y'all how I felt watching it. I was like, 
damn, thank God the street niggas that signed me was like, I'm not going to say real, real or niggas, cause, but thank God that they just moved differently. They weren't as greedy. They didn't, they just knew, they kept me away from, they just protected, they just moved, thank God. Mm. If they did not, I would have never been bold enough to fucking try to call the police on the street niggas that I was. I don't care if they kidnapped me or what. Like, I just wouldn't have done it. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't cut like that. Like, it's just a wild story. Again, I have to be happy that my son and kids his age have the story of Bobby Schmurda because stories like this are the stories that have been the prominent ones. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. I ain't going to spend too much time on this. And Showtime, y'all got to cut a fucking check. I would have never approved y'all having me on there talking about, oh, you hear this new kid? He's turning it up. Turning it up. (laughs) Really like him out there. Yo, it's so bad. When it got to episode three and they chose us to surmise everything, and boy, did we do a phenomenal job. Oh, great. We did a really good job. Wait, they have my face in this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, no, I, you're in this. I text Ian so fucking no, you, fast. You need to check. I said, if you don't send a fucking C and D to Showtime, <laughs> you in there like, yo, I don't know if y'all heard the new six nine, but <laughs> I'm in there like, yo, this kid is the new flavor. I think I think Maul called him his little episode, bro. Episode two, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> episode two, Maul. So yo, it was so bad at episode three when we cleaned it up. I was happy that people stole from us to clean it up. <laughs> mm. Hey. Listen, Thank y'all you. y'all know how I felt about him before you loved him. all of that shit. I thought that, you know, he had he was creative, he was bright. Yeah, he was I thought, I thought, I thought he was doing that, shit different. He was yeah, a visionary. He was, yeah, I, get I, it. I thought that he was that. But you know, listen, man, from where I'm from, after you make certain moves and make certain actions, I just can't I can't even speak on that, man. That's just now all of that is null and void, as far as I'm concerned. But this is it's a lesson to be learned in this though. I understand what Joe was saying. Yeah, there is a yeah, lesson. So. There is a lesson to be learned. In I this. agree with you. Absolutely, there's a lesson to be learned in this. But welcome home, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. Back to that. I'll say that. <laughs> yeah. Welcome home, Bobby. But let that be the answer to like you just don't have to do it this way. Mm. Right. No. No. I, just, I agree. I agree. That's why I agree with you said. I agree with what you, you said. Do not have to do it that way. And welcome home, Bobby. Congratulations, man. Enjoy your oxtail. Have another good meal. Enjoy yeah, some. Hit us hot one. Give get, us hot get, one real get, quick, get some, man. Get, enjoy some pussy. Get some fucking some head. All of that. What else you need when you just come home, man? DM a few chicks that you don't even care about. Just get it off. <laughs>